Hi there. Welcome to HLS Show Me How. My name is Mike Chinati, and I'm here with Scott Moore. And we are colleagues as part of the Microsoft Healthcare and Life Sciences Group. We're both technology specialists. Just a reminder, you can always find this content more and our colleagues at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. So today we are going to be Viva Connection Setup Video 104. Yeah, we're actually going to be alternating. So today I'm the lead on this particular video. But you can see we have a four part series set up. Today we are going to be looking at setting up an organizational home site in SharePoint Online to prepare SharePoint Modern Framework for Viva Connections. Um, you can find all the resources. There's actually a post out on our blog called Resources for Setting Up Viva Topics and Viva Connections. We'll have this as a PDF, so there'll be a link in, in here as well. Uh, but this is what we're going to be doing today. So without further ado, I think we are ready to get started. What do you think? I think so. All right, so let's close that out. We'll come back to that at the very end. So to get started today, um, setting up a home site. Scott, <clears throat> the other day we went from soup to nuts in setting a thing as a home site and then setting it up as Viva Connections and Teams. How long did that take? Um, it may have taken us maybe 30 minutes because we fumbled through it, but I think, you know, in reality we can do it in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So, and we fumble, and what were you and I fumbling in? Uh, it's really about, you know, PowerShell, the, the typical things. So, <laughs> yeah, neither of us has done that in a while. <clears throat> One of the beauties in, on the web is I'm not running PowerShell on boxes anymore. Um, but yeah, so we did have that. But here is that page. We're going to provide these links to you, so I'll save them all. They'll go in the post. But you can see here, setting up the home site, uh, they have kind of a walk through home site capabilities, talking about landing pages, how to plan and create it. Just to let you know, they talk about the mega menu audience targeting, all those cool things you'll be able to do. Uh, but one of the first things that it talks about is, you know, you need a home site. And so what we've done is we have gone out here to SharePoint, to lookbook.microsoft.com. And I'll provide this link. And out here, there are a wealth of sample sites across organizations, departments, teams, communities, solutions, there's even ones for schools. Take your pick if you don't have something and you want to get started and you want to mm -hmm. work with what you have. We have, in this case, in our tenant, the landing. So we have mega menu. We've also got, you know, this uh, global nav that's here. And one of the first things that this page tells you or suggests is to replace your root site with the new site. So we had to go and figure that out. Um, they have the directions here, modernizing uh, your site, your root site. And so what we did was we then went out to let me find, here we go. We went out to the SharePoint Admin Center, Active Sites, and it tells you to come in and to select the URL dropdown and sort A to Z. And if you remember, Scott, do you remember which one I clicked first? Um, so I, to go back I did site name when I did it. And then we're like, I can't find it. I don't get it. Um, so we've already done that here, but what you're able to do is if you highlight the root site, um, once you've done that, notice there is an option to replace. So if you have a default root site and that's not the one you want to make as your root site that you're going to turn into a home site, what you'll go ahead is click that, click replace. You're going to put the URL for the new one in here. I'm going to cancel. And then you'll save it and that will become the new root site. So that becomes that default if you went to the 
default root URL, which in this case, it's a goofy numeric demo tenant one. Um, but there we go. You're going to do that. That's that first step, getting ready to make it a home site, right? So you make it your root site. Once you've done that, the next plan is to go ahead and set a site as the, you're going to set that root site as your home site. And to do that, you need to download the SharePoint online management shell, which is PowerShell. So you're going to go ahead and do that and then run it. I've run it here. I have it up and running. I already went and you can see, I don't know, let's see if it shows here. There we go. I ran it here. I went ahead and ran as admin. So I've got, you know, godlike rights. Um, but then once we've done that, it says connect to it as the global admin. Now, right in here, there is a link to that. So if you select, it's going to bring you to this page, get started with the SharePoint online management shell. It has some things here just to double check that it's what you're looking for. And what we're looking to do is to run this service, which is connect SPO service and they have that, I dropped it into my favorite tool. Notepad. Notepad, All right? So we've got Notepad. I went ahead then and replaced it with our root. I gave uh, an admin uh, credential for logging in. And so I'm gonna take this, and I don't think we did anything else, did we, Scott? I think that's pretty much it. So there we go. We're running. Hey, there we go. And we're uh, to the races. So now I need to enter the password, which I won't tell any of you. And so we'll go ahead and select OK. And boom, we're in. Once you're in, then they want you. Coming, I'll come back here again to home site. Is we then have to run this set SPO home site, and then it asks for home site URL and the actual URL. Again, I took that, put it into Notepad. So we are going to grab that command. We'll see. And actually it says run. Oh, so I don't run. I just click set, right? Mm -hmm. See, there we go. It's been so long. All right. Control C. We could have had a, one of those teachable moments. I'm going to go ahead and select that. We'll hit return. It says say yes. Y for yes. The home site has been set. That's it. We now have home site set, um, which is important because we, we need that for what we're doing. Now, I already have the global navigation bar being set up here, so that's already there. They have directions on this page. Again, we'll give you the links to it. But for your first step, just to kind of quick summarize, this is what you need to do. You need a SharePoint Modern Framework website. If you don't have one, if you're still in classic or you're getting ready to migrate and you're want or doing this in a demo tenant, go out to lookbook.microsoft.com, grab a sample. There's tons of them, provision it there. Once you've done that, then the next step is you're going to make that your root site, which we have here. You do that by selecting, go to URL, select A to Z. And that'll put the root site at the top and then select the original one, select replace, put the URL of your new site. That will become the root site. It'll replace it. Once you've done that, the next step is to download PowerShell, fire it up. You are then going to run the command. First command is connect one where you'll have to have the uh, proper credentials to go ahead and do that. Once you've connected, it'll prompt you for your password. Once you've connected, you want to set the SPO home site. You're going to give it the URL of that new root site. And that's it. You're done.
What do you think? Pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. Pretty simple. So that's mm -hmm. step one of four. Not a whole lot there. Again, we'll have all of that content available here um, on the post. And we're going to do these as four posts. So you can just go and they'll all be cross-linked. So you can go through quickly. Um, but having said it, that's all that we have for this particular segment. We're going to record the next one. And Scott's going to be leading and driving that. But I want to thank you for watching. Just quick reminders. You can find us always ask questions, comments. We love to hear from you at aka.ms slash HLS blog. You can find me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash IN slash Mike Gennady. You can find Scott. Look at that smile. You get a nice smile going there. You can find Scott on LinkedIn at linkedin.com slash IN slash Scott Moore one. Because Scott said he's number one. <laughs> And that's it. I want to thank you for joining us. We're recording all these in Microsoft Teams. Um, the idea is, again, we're going to give you the links to the directions, but to give you kind of a step through to help you through all that. So till the next one, this is Mike and Scott. Bidding you have a great day, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Ciao. See ya.